Thanks for calling Binkelman. While you're on hold, please ignore the sounds of this angry farmer using a hammer to herd his goats. Damn it! Get over here! Come here, you little... No! Over here! Ah, I could have been a short order cook or a brain surgeon, but no, I had to raise goats for a living. Don't you dare eat my tire, you creepy-eyed bastard. Why, I oughta. I swear if I get hold of you, I'm going to turn you into a rug. Uh, I have to say I'm rather intrigued by your choice of colors. Yeah, well, the colors just spoke to me, really. Mm, how so? Well, the red represents blood, of course. The white is some undefined source of light. Maybe it's an oncoming train about ready to split you in two. And the gray is uh, dirty, isn't it? Could be an old dingy t-shirt or like a filthy rag of some sort. But you're painting the Binkelman logo, so what do bodily fluids and killer trains and a sully t-shirt have to do with Binkelman? Well, painting the logo of a Total Solutions parts distributor on a grown man's belly isn't an exact science now, is it? No, I, I don't suppose it is. Could you turn just a bit to your right? Oh, of course. And promise you won't sneeze again. Dear Binkelman, I'm writing to express my outrage over the line of souvenir flannel caps in your gift shop. I was under the impression that the cap I bought would make me more attractive to women, primarily because the front panel of the cap is stitched with the phrase, I'm more attractive to women. But I'm sorry to report that not one woman has even looked at my cap, let alone been attracted to it or me as I stand beneath it. Maybe I should have spent the extra $7 for the cap's detachable ear flaps and the optional chin strap. I can see now how those features would have drawn the gals to me like monkeys to mashed potatoes. Perhaps I have been too hasty in judging the effectiveness of your caps. I would never want to besmirch the good name of Binkelman or your reputation as a maker of fine flannel caps. Therefore, I formally withdraw my complaint, and you can feel free to just toss this letter in the garbage. Sorry for the interruption. Signed, Marv Bland. Don't forget to say your prayers. Okay, Mama. God bless Daddy and Mommy and all my friends at school and my fish, Darren. And God, would you please see to it that I get a couple dozen feet of agricultural chain and a pneumatic compressor and those engineered sprockets I've been asking about? If you need help, just call Binkelman. Oh, uh, and God bless applesauce. How's your breakfast, dear? Mmm, mmm. Honey, this oatmeal is delicious. Thank you, dear. It really tastes great. Did you add a secret ingredient or something? Oh, you might say that. My husband doesn't know it, but that secret ingredient is my new all-encompassing lust for Binkelman products. I mean, wow! Ever since I stumbled onto Binkelman.com, I can't get enough of their bearings, industrial hoses, and linear motion products. It's like magic oatmeal! So now I take all the raw sexual energy that Binkelman stirs up in me and pour it into each batch of oatmeal I make. Honey, I don't think I can walk after that oatmeal. That's nice, dear. Thanks, Binkelman. (laughs) 